Well, very apt coming out of that. And please let us know, do you think that electric surfboard is cheating? Because I'm going to pose that question to one of the greatest surfers South Africa has produced. Prefers a longer board, though, and prefers a bigger wave. Grant Twiggy Baker, twice the big wave surfing champion of the world, is with us. Um, congratulations, sir, on a, on a second title. Um, we are so proud of you here. I think you, you can feel the love on the studio floor. We've got a lot of surfers here. When you came on to set, everyone's like, <gasps> especially Sean, one of our cameramen, you're an absolute legend, man. Um, clearly still loving it as much as you always have. How does it feel taking the second title, man? No, it feels great. Obviously, you know, it's a vindication of all the work you put in yeah. and uh, making my friends and family, you know, proud back home is, uh, it feels great. Um, I think there is this, this misnomer that, that you guys are out there. And yes, you are oral mates. You're surfing in some of the coolest locations, listening to some of the places you've been to recently. I mean, it is an amazing life to lead, but it is a job and a rather dangerous one at that. How much work goes into a season? How often are you, are you abroad? How much time do you get to actually spend in South Africa? Um, I spend most of the winter here. So I travel from winter to winter, so it's not as glamorous as you'd think. <laughs> not too many girls in bikinis and that. It's more <laughs> thick jackets and wetsuits, but... Uh, yeah, no, I get enough time at home, but uh, I'm away in the Northern Hemisphere from like October to, to March. Luckily, I get to take my family with me, my wife and daughter. Um, so it feels a bit like home when I'm away as well. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun life, eh? Yeah, and the, and the circuit knows you well. And, you know, just looking at, at some of the visuals there, it's, it's obviously a very different crowd. We've seen Geordie Smith doing incredibly well for South Africa at the moment, second um, on that log. But you guys are playing a very different game here. What goes through your mind? Do you still... Do you, are you conscious when these things are happening? Do you go into another place? How do you overcome that fear? Because there must be such a massive adrenal response when you're in that position. What goes through your mind? Yeah, look, I mean, it's all about controlling the fear, but uh, what you do is you just rely on your training, um, your experience, and everything that's come before it. And actually, when that wave's coming towards you, you just click into instinct. Um, you know, like any sport, you know, you, you train for it, you make sure you're prepared, and when I mean, that moment comes, you know, do you, you get put a buzz when you see you these things? Obviously, your perspective when you're in that, that barrel, when you're at the, the top of a wave, a swell like that, I mean, it's a very different experience of life. When you look back over some of the waves that you surfed, does the reality sink in? Yeah, look, the nerves actually kick in when I look at a photograph like that. And I think if I'd made a mistake anywhere, <laughs> I could have been in serious trouble. So, uh, yeah, I get nervous before and after, but during. Like I said, it's kind of an instinctual you just, thing You've got to go into the zone. Uh, you know, when you say make a mistake, what, what's There's the worst a mistake right there. <laughs> that has happened? I mean, uh, there is the risk of death here. How, 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 do you, how does your family deal with you in that sort of situation? What's the worst um, wipeout that you've had? Look, I think it looks a little bit more scary and dangerous than it is. You know, it's like any sport. I mean, you put me in a Formula One car. <laughs> I'm going to wreck on the first corner, and if you take Lewis Hamilton and put him in waves like this, yeah. he's not going to make it. So it's all relative, and uh, this is just what I do, right? Eh? Yeah, well, somehow I think BMT is BMT. Um, clearly, you are at the, the top of your game, which we, we absolutely love. What's next for you? Are, do you still feel the same passion? Are you going to go out and get another title next year? Yeah, or this season? Yeah, 100%. I've got a young family at home, mm -hmm. and uh, like my wife said, uh, I better start catching bigger waves and <laughs> feeding the family. <laughs> <laughs> the kids need new shoes. God, we are so proud of you, man. Um, and I know your family is as well and the entire South African surfing community, but um, you are doing something truly spectacular every day. So, so awesome Thank to you. see you still loving it as much as you always have. But um, stay safe out there, please, man. No, stay you. safe out there. Oh, um, you can let us know what you thought of those big waves. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, Grant Twiggy Baker on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.